Let's take a look at stoichiometry problems involving gas volumes. We have this reaction right here, potassium chlorate, forming potassium chloride and oxygen gas. Suppose you heat 0.0100 moles of potassium chlorate in a test tube. How many liters of oxygen can be produced at 298 Kelvin in 1.02 atmospheres? Well, basically what we're saying is I got 0 0.0100 moles of potassium chlorate I want to know how many liters of oxygen can be generated from that. This type of problem is similar to other stoichiometry problems, except for the fact that we are going to, we are looking for the volume of oxygen generated instead of moles or mass. The moles of gas is related to the volume through the ideal gas law. So what we're going to have to do is figure out how many moles of my potassium chlorate how many moles that it generates of oxygen gas. Once I know the moles of oxygen gas, I can go and figure out how many liters is associated with that through the ideal gas law. So first we're going to do the stoichiometry. 0 0.0100 moles of potassium chlorate. There's a 3 to 2 mole ratio. I put my potassium chlorate in the denominator to get the, the units to cancel. Uh, multiply that out cancel my units, I end up with 0 0.0150 moles of O2 being produced. So now I know my N. Now I got to figure out what is my volume through the ideal gas law. Ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, solving for volume gives me volume is equal to number of moles times R times T divided by P. Plugging my values, I know the moles of oxygen, 0 0.0150 moles. I know the ideal gas constant, 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. I'm talking about 298 Kelvin is my temperature, and my pressure is given at 1.02 atmospheres. Cancel units, and what I get left is volume. Multiply the numbers, and I get 0 0.360 liters. It's very important to put your units in here and cancel them here to make sure that you're putting the right things in. Sometimes you may be given millimeters of mercury and you've got to cancel that with atmospheres. The only way to do that is you got to do the conversion. So you need to make sure you're following your units as you do these calculations. So this is just like the Stoke Government problems we did before, except now you got to do that as well as use an ideal gas law to get your answer. Here's another example. Many air bags are filled or inflated with nitrogen gas by the following reaction. Sodium alzide plus iron 3 oxide forms sodium ox oxide, uh, iron, and nitrogen gas. The actual nitrogen gas is what blows up the, the bag. I want to know how many grams of sodium alzide would be needed to provide 75 liters of nitrogen gas at 75 degrees C, at 25 degrees C, and 748 millimeters of mercury. So what we're looking for here is how many grams of sodium alzide do I need to produce so many moles of nitrogen gas? And that number of moles of gas has to be equivalent to 75 liters. The problem gives us the information needed to calculate the moles of nitrogen gas to inflate the airbag by using the ideal gas law. Once we have the moles of the gas, we can calculate the mass of sodium alzide needed to produce the amount of gas through stoichiometry. So in this essence, I know that my bag has to have 75 liters of nitrogen gas. So through the ideal gas law, I can figure out how many moles of nitrogen gas that is equivalent to. Once I have number of moles of gas through mole to mole, I can figure out how much sodium alzide I need to produce that many moles of gas. First step, ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, solving for N, N is equal to PV over RT. Plug in your values, 748 millimeters of mercury. I'm going to need atmospheres to cancel with my R units, so I'm going to go ahead and convert that within my equation here, 760 millimeters to one atmosphere. Uh, or I could have did that outside and then brought that in as atmospheres, your choice. Volume is 75 liters divided by R, which is your 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And I'll do 25 degrees C, which we must convert to Kelvin, uh, which is 298 Kelvin. 
units cancel. When the units cancel, all that's left is moles, which is in the denominator of denominator, which then gives me my answer, multiplying my numeric numbers, 3.02 moles of N2. So now I know how much gas I need to generate 75 liters. Now i got to figure out how much sodium iodide I need to produce that many moles of nitrogen gas, which is a stoichiometry problem. So I got 3.02 moles of N2. I know this is a 6 to 9 ratio. We're putting the moles of N2 in the denominator to get that to cancel. And then I want mass, so I'm going to take my moles to my molar mass of sodium iodide, uh, do my unit, my uh, cancellation of units, and you see what's left is just grams, which is what I'm looking for. Multiply my numeric number, and I get 131 grams of sodium iodide. So 131 grams of sodium iodide will produce 3.02 liters, 3.02 moles of nitrogen gas, which will produce my 75 liters and blow up my, uh, inflate my back. Homework 45.